Hello and welcome to Chris's Hair and Beauty. Right, well that was one of the dog's tails on my head, so uh, <laughs> I may regret that. Um, so I took this apart to actually do a proper finish on this and smooth it off. Um, now it's actually quite nice to handle. Uh, before it was a bit like dried Weetabix on the side of a bowl. You weren't feeling the glitter, but the the varnish was all over the top. Anyway, um, I probably will refinish this one day as well because I've blown through the glitter in a couple of places, so ho hum. Anyway, that's not what we're here for today, is it? While this has got no strings on it, I'm going to uh, finish polishing up the frets. I crowned them and I shaped them before, but no polishing. And I've seen people use these sort of things. And you can get like 100,000 of them for 20p. So I thought it'd be worth having a look, see how it goes. Failing that, I can give them to my wife and daughter. Um, they have seven grits working up. So I thought I would divide the fretboard into seven areas and kind of work all of it at one, and then some at two, and then three, and then four, blah, 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 blah. And then we can actually have an actual comparison and see how high we can polish it with this. Or not. I might just cut to the failure if uh, <laughs> it hasn't worked. So I've gone back to my frets, removed any tool marks, I've polished them up through 400, 800 and 1200 grit. That may be over the top for what I'm about to do. But then we can see what one of these sticks will actually do. This stuff is just uh, what you can find in your normal car shop or auto parts store, just uh, on every high street. So even at this uh, the grit I've used there on the wet and dry paper. You can make out the individual LEDs on my uh, backlight there. So I may have gone up too high for using these pads, we'll have to see. There's seven sides to it, so I've divided the fretboard into seven. And then I will gradually go over the whole fretboard with one, then the rest with two, then three, then four, blah blah blah. Let's see what happens. It is interesting to see that they're both shinier now after a grey one, but also more distinct scratch patterns, so it's a mixture of the both. It's also clear that these are going to be like used once, throw away, because uh, it's getting torn around a bit. That is a factor in whether to use these. Yeah, let's go into grade two. Okay, that's two done. Um, it's a part of the challenge of using these is trying to find a bit that's not worn out. And secondly, it kind of looks like a step back after stage two. Um, three has more area, so maybe it'd be uh, more advanced than this because we've got more area to use. Okay, in some ways that looks like a backward step, but I'm now going to do the final four. And you're going to see them all at once. So, obviously that got quicker and quicker as we did fewer and fewer frets. Um, and also did less damage to the pads itself, which is interesting. Um, right, now my neighbours stopped slamming every car door he owns. There aren't that many doors on a car, but anyway, definite improvement from here to here. They, they were getting less and less damaged, but then again, I was using less and less of the fretboard. So what I'm going to do is peel off the tape, because I think the dirtiness will distract from the actual job, and we can have a final little view. Normally, when I peel, put tape down the sides, it all peels off in one, and you've got YouTube gold, but uh, <laughs> not this time. So if we start here, uh, you can see very scratchy, scratchy, less scratchy, less scratchy. Some cleanup I need to do here. Um, and as we get on, it's more and more polished, until we get here where it's really shiny. And very shiny here. You can't see it as well as my eyes can, annoyingly. You can see where I 
slip with a saw, that's annoying. Um, if I refocus, you can briefly see <laughs> the LEDs. Um, I'd need a better camera. But hopefully that shows uh, how well they worked. Right, firstly, Audi has pink duct tape. Well, works. Secondly, were these worth using? Well, they worked, definitely. You can only use them once, really. Um, but you can see we're totally shiny at this end. I'll try and get some proper photos with my wife's camera. Um, compared to what I usually use, these micro mesh pads, which, as you can see, start from 1500 grit, which finishes off where I left off with the wet and dry paper, all the way up to 12,000. It don't. It didn't do a better job, <laughs> and you can wash and reuse these quite a lot of times. Although obviously the abrasiveness then reduces over time, but yeah. So in conclusion, you'll probably are better off buying something that's made for the job. <laughs> <coughs> um, but at a push, if you just had one of these laying around somewhere, it would actually do the job. I'm going to put links to these on Amazon in the description so I can get rich off this video if, if you're interested in them. Um, but for now, goodbye.